any insight into how the role may change over the coming 10 years? Yeah, well, you know, I'm a big fan of democratization of these tools. And, you know, you Mm -hmm. see it in other areas with low code and no code. Um, You see it in the area of kind of automation with uh, users taking over sort of citizen automation, if you will. So I I am a believer. I know there aren't too many people in the data science, uh, among data science professionals who are big believers in this, but the citizen data science movement, I think is going to be very important. And so that means professional data scientists will evolve into only doing the really um, uh, hardcore new algorithm development work and checking the efforts of the citizens. Um, and you know, that that will be, I think, a major change for them. But you know, if, if you believe data science is important, um, we can't restrict its use to a relatively small number of highly trained uh, PhD types. Um, no offense to, to you, a PhD data scientist. <laughs> uh, um, they, we have to engage other, other people in this. There's just too much important work to be done. There's too much data out there. And most, of, let's face it, most of the work is being done Um, that's being done in data science is not breakthrough algorithm development work. It's pretty mundane stuff. Um, And also another change I think we'll see is it's widely stated. um, I don't know if you have a podcast about this or not, that 80% of data science work is um, munging around with data. Um, Mm -hmm. And a lot of that's going to be done by AI and an increasingly is now for things like data integration um, across integrating data across separate databases that turns out to be the same people or the same products or or whatever through probabilistic matching technology. And so that will, I think when that's done by AI, that will free up the data scientists to the ones that are really great with, with um algorithm work um, can do that and the others can kind of supervise the citizens and train them and make sure they're effective and help them pick out the right tools and so on. And, you know, we haven't done an episode on automated data munging. And I, I like that. That's a good topic idea. Um, and I think that this ties in nicely to the conversation we had a long time ago now in this episode about radiologists, where, you know, you're saying wh- one in 13 things that a radiologist does in their day is now being automated to some extent. And these kinds of tools like AutoML, which you already mentioned, and uh, (laughs) I should have already brought up an episode number for that. I'll I'll have it in a second. Um, But uh, AutoML tools, while we might think of a data scientist, their job fundamentally being creating models, deciding what the best model is, I don't know if it's one in 13, uh, you know, one thirteenth of their day, But it isn't actually the majority of their day, even though it is the most prominent thing that we think of as we define the data scientist role. Um, Maybe the thing they like the most. uh, (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, exactly. And so I think data munging could be where a data scientist today spends a huge amount of their time. And so, uh, but I think it'll be great to have that more and more of that automated too, because people hate that part of it anyway. Um, So then data science data scientists can be adding a huge amount of value. As you said, kind of supervising citizen data scientists, that's a great idea. But then also just communicating what these things mean and interpreting them and uh, thinking of commercial applications. Yeah, yeah. So I've mentioned um, uh, I, in that book, Working with AI, I did one chapter on um, 84.51 degrees. I don't know if you've come across them. They're the captive data science subsidiary of Kroger, based in Cincinnati, and that's the longitude of Cincinnati. They say we work with longitudinal (laughs) data, so we chose 84.51. But they have done a great job, I think, of adopting AutoML, uh, engaging a new class of people to do um, model work that they call insight specialists, and having the data scientists sort of supervise and, and train them. 